thing that we have is our church conferences but it's time yeah it's, it's time, time. It's time. Yes. Yes. that's yeah. it south africa too i, think. I was oh, thinking south, south africa, africa too really. we'll be all about the store 100 mm -hmm. oh. we can't make lead without jesus okay oh. i mean <laughs> mic drop they got nothing else to say after that <laughs> oh you can't lead without discipline yeah yeah <laughs> Um, and lyrics. And lyrics. <laughs> Hello. Give me a well. I'm I can't leave without lyrics. this. I, otherwise, I'm like, oh, oh yeah, we got it. Right on the spot. But I need lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have yes. 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 uh, confidence. Yeah, confidence. They monitor. are the worship leader. Yeah. Leading the worship. Oh, that's true. Yeah. 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 Yes. Hundred percent. Thank you. God bless him. <laughs> okay. Comfortable I shoes. I can't. Oh, yeah. If I'm uncomfortable shoes, I cannot lead worship well. I can't hear him. I'm literally like, I'm listening to my feet and the Holy Spirit. I can't do both. I'm no, like, be somebody cute on this tour, but I'm about to be in sneakers. Yeah, I, I, can't, I, can't, do I, I can't, can't do it anymore. If I can't run, that's not talking about. Oh, then I can't in do the it. In the shoe? Yep. Then the shoe is not happening. Okay. Yeah. No, then it's coming off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you know what mm -hmm. I actually do? I actually try my outfit the night before because I do not want to be um, uncomfortable. Yeah. Uncomfortable or thinking about my outfit. Is something going to pop out? Like, I wear a safety oh. singlet. Yeah. I'm like strapped in. It's the, it's the keep everything in. Yeah. <laughs> and because I want, I want to be uninhibited. In yes. The mm -hmm. I don't want to be That's thinking true. about that. Listen, I have had so many wardrobe malfunctions. <laughs> I have come on the stage and been off oh, in no. song one. Like, <laughs> I need a belt. I need a pillow. I need a pen. Not this time. No. Yeah. It's not time. Yeah. It's not yeah. time for that. It's not time for that. no time for that. I mean, I don't need to get embarrassed at this point. Yeah. I will literally say, guys. I'll turn around and ask my singer, what's the next part? Where's that part? Where's oh, that yeah, part? Yeah, sing it sure. out. Yeah. I turned around to my singer and just said, just sing it. Because I don't remember. I, I think it takes the embarrassment away when you acknowledge it. Yes. Guys, I don't know yes. this song. So yes. you sing along. <laughs> Come on. Remind it's sometimes me. like in those exhortation moments and you're like, Jesus loves Holy Spirit. God loves oh. them. Yes. <laughs> Lift your hands. Guys, forget about it. Yeah. It was really good in my head. Oh, yeah. Those Some are the days moments. are better than others. <laughs> where I'm not articulate today. Yes. So I just need to sing yes. okay. and shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cece is my person. That's oh, the go. Yeah. And she's appreciated by all. Oh, she's under. Yeah, she's That's why I said she's appreciated by all. She's, she's like the go. Like one of all of our favorites. She's yeah. Tom Brady. I, I just keep saying that. She's the Tom Brady of worship with you. Oh, my. That would be awesome. Well, I'm canceling whatever else I had going on. <laughs> oh, that's what I said. Like, oh, that's what I said. We're all just sit down. See ya. Which oh, camera am I looking at? Yes, <laughs> Mama. 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 Yes. We love you so oh, much. We really Come see do. us at any We thank you yes. for your influence. Would you please join us? To oh, us, any city, anywhere, anywhere every time. Be good. The invitation <laughs> is open for every city Listen, at any point. I will yes. hand you the microphone and I'll walk off. Listen, I'm like saying, you can actually just have the night. Take it. Darlene Check from oh, Australia. Man. 100%. Under like, machine, Darlene. you think like, yeah, yeah I mean, I she kind of birthed the whole movement. Yeah, I'll pay that. She's an OG. Yeah, she's an OG. OG. Loves Jesus. But maybe for the new generation, they I don't understand one. what she said. Or said. I know her. Mm -hmm. So that, exactly, yeah. what I she actually said. One. Okay, hear this. Yeah, girl. Amanda Cook. <gasps> oh, yeah. That's true. You know what? So anointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Loves Jesus. I think the same thing about mm -hmm. Katie Torwell. Yeah. Yes! yes. Katie! Katie! Mm -hmm. She, she just doesn't just sing. Yes. She has the authority. Mm -hmm. Yes. She opens yeah. up her mouth. It's mm -hmm. just like, yeah. cuts through the atmosphere. I, I would say that music, it's obviously affected generations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it causes revolutions. When I think, mm -hmm. even through like gospel music or Christian mm -hmm. music, you can see um, different artists like, of course, Kirk Franklin. But then you have like Ty Trivet. 
who you know literally changed a culture. Like right. the way people yeah. dressed, mm -hmm. their approach yeah. to yeah. worship, you know, or or ministry. So I think music, and if you can, you can go, go deeper, like for, we would say like for slavery, they would use yeah. it as a language yeah. to yeah. communicate, yeah. you know. So I think music is infused in everything. And it, and yeah. it kind of mm -hmm. ushers in like a move of God. It can yeah. like, cause it gives people, um, I, you know, like words to articulate what mm -hmm. God's actually mm -hmm. doing as well. And I think it's spiritual, which, um, the enemy could manipulate sometimes through mm -hmm. music yeah. to get different types of spirits, yes. you know, into yeah. um, your your gates, like your ear gates, what you hear, what you listen to. It affects you. So I think there's a power in music, mm -hmm. which is what yes. makes worship yeah. so yes. powerful. Yeah. I think even like when you start to think about how worship music has affected even popular music mm -hmm. and um chord structures, mm -hmm. even yes. melodies and rhythms. You hear it. Um, we hear it in Justin Bieber's music. Mm -hmm. We hear it. Um, we hear gospel music in Kanye's music. Yes. And like, literally, you watch these award shows, You everybody has a choir. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. There are so many elements. Musicals of, and movies, The Greatest Showman, that's yeah. like church music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think there are, there's mm -hmm. so much wisdom that I've got, I got from Natalie, I think within the first 20 minutes of meeting her, we sat, remember we just yes. sat there and talked for that. like, it was actually probably like two hours. Yes. We sat and talked, um, but you, and I couldn't even like say just the quote, but it, the gist of it was like, be authentically who you are yeah. and mm -hmm. let mm -hmm. your life, like you're in, be integral. There was just such integrity mm -hmm. that um, you spoke to me. I feel like you recognized it, but also mm -hmm. encouraged it. Mm -hmm. um, and then Tasha, constantly it's like hey remember to like prioritize mm -hmm. your your life don't let this thing run you yeah. make decisions mm -hmm. be decisive about what you want to do and what you're not going to do and say it and i think that as a woman in this space you know sometimes we can kind of just go along with the flow yeah, or you yes. don't you know you don't want to be yeah. looked at like the yeah. one who's always right, complaining yeah. or fussing yeah. or saying something but those words that you spoke mm -hmm. to me um after one of our, mm -hmm. our shows, you came out to see us, um, I, I keep them with me. It was oh, like, mm -hmm. okay, because sometimes you just, sometimes you need permission to, to be, to be. Ooh, yeah. you yeah. know? Yeah. And when you have strong, confident women that can speak into you and affirm the thing that yeah. you were already kind of feeling, I think it's just like, okay, yeah, yeah I yes. can do that. You know, when I first started, somebody um, really talked to me about, you know, because there's that fine line between ministry and business and that mm -hmm. line of how to do both and to do it well and I remember how they said listen especially as a young woman because this was 20 almost 25 years ago and they said do not be casual or flippant mm -hmm. with well, your business mm -hmm. don't let you're going to be signed to all these people yeah. and everyone's going to try to run you mm -hmm. but your calling God gave to you so you have mm -hmm. to be responsible for what are they saying on your behalf what are they signing yes. on your behalf wow. and don't just be like well I'm just the creative and so I'm going to be no 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 because yeah. you're going to answer to God mm -hmm. um, for how you let Oof. people handle your so name yeah. your reputation and your business and that has stuck with me all these years of don't just sit back and let people run your life. You let them know that God gave me a download and I trust you mm -hmm. with what it is that God has called me to do mm -hmm. and not let them define your calling, mm -hmm. but you have a team around you that helps you carry out your calling. Mm -hmm. And that was Mine important. would be, um, wow. <clears throat> I hate to keep going back to this, but Cece Wine is, she's <laughs> one of my mentors. And I remember when I first started, we had just released Break Every Chain. Mm -hmm. and. Oh my God, I was just going everywhere. <laughs> Everybody was calling. It was just me and my cousin at the time. People didn't know this. We were running everything, just me and her, <laughs> answering emails all day. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, use a different name. Right? When we sat down with my agency, they could not believe that she had done all of that by wow. herself. And so um, wow. I remember sitting backstage. And I asked Mama Cece, I said, can I ask you one question? Because people were running me down saying, I want to manage you. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I'm like, How do, who do I hire? Why do I hire? How do I hire? You know, I was young. And she said something I will never forget. And I tell people all the time now. She said to me, Tasha, stay as small as you can for as long as you can. Yes. 
And I tell you, a weight lifted mm. off of me. No, she was like, there, are, there are some things that you can do. Mm -hmm. You don't need to hire out for everything. Mm -hmm. Stay as small as you can wow. for as long as you can. And when it's time okay. to build, you'll know. Mm -hmm. After that, I, it was such a freedom. Yes. So I share yeah. that a lot with people because that how it changed my perspective yes. on yeah. that day. Because I was thinking, oh, break every chain is doing this, so I got to have a team, you yeah. know. Yeah. No, she was like, it's been me and my manager for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. I feel like I'm gleaning so much because I'm just starting out the solo mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. like just now. And... Um, and to be honest, I, I have a conversation with Buffy. I remember she, I'll, I'll cry at that. But she just, I, cause I was a bit, you know, I'm a worker bee, not necessarily the CU type and kind of just where God found me. I was a CU youth leader, like just really like stepping mm -hmm. into this thing, zero to 100. I know that's you well, girl where I'm just like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here. Yeah. Yes. And, um, and she just looked at me and, and, and I think that's the key. To mm -hmm. have people around you who yes. speak the word of God, yes. um, who are listening speak to the Holy the Spirit, speak mm -hmm. the truth. And it's with love and it's yes. with kindness. Yep. And mm -hmm. you yes. can either rebuke, you know, that they love you, so mm -hmm. it's also a safe place. But she just said, hey, you're the girl for the job. And she's like, you need mm -hmm. to stop questioning it. And um, God's called you. And you didn't open this door and you need to walk through it. Wow. wow. And so I just was like, tears streaming down my face. And then she prayed with me and we just went out. And yeah. that was a Hollywood bowl. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. And... And there, there's a thing where I would be headlining a tour, but a male promoter would come and speak to the male opener, but he wouldn't speak to me. Mm. He wouldn't talk to me. He wouldn't interact with me. And that, that's just a real thing. It's I mean, real. that's, it's very that's real. just a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, oh, honey, you know, you just go out and do your pretty singing. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to do my pretty singing. I'm going to go out and like take tor territory in the name of Jesus. And, and you know I'm, how to run your business. That's what right. You're right. <laughs> I'm like, don't Hello? even. So you need this to come don't even. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I think that part is a struggle. And that's been a struggle. So Ooh, now I feel sure. like. You know, but we've had so many beautiful women that have laid the groundwork mm -hmm. yes. for this to happen, that have been smart, mm -hmm. that have had integrity, mm -hmm. that have remained faithful. Mm -hmm. And I think faithful yeah. to their calling, faithful to the church. And so I do feel like many before has have laid the groundwork so mm -hmm. that we could, we could do this and do it well and that it would be received and it's still going to be judged. I mean, they're still going to be, but everything is. So yeah. you just have to shut that out and let the Lord deal with them. Because yeah. I really want to deal with them myself. I know, but and I got your back. I would like to deal Can with we, them. But hello, <laughs> meet me outside. Yes, girl. Yes. I would say fear. <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. um, yeah, well. the fear of the task at hand mm -hmm. yeah. for a team. Because you're, you're um, each one of us, we come from different walks, different cultures, yeah. and you're merging such yes. huge lives. Um, as well as followers, yeah. like yeah. It, yeah. it, it takes a special group and not just the four of us, like the entire team mm -hmm. yes. to be able to pull together something yeah. that's so powerful and effective. Yes. Yeah. You know, I think it takes much prayer Yes. Um, yeah. to make sure that you have the right people involved in each space. And it's God's timing, yes. you yes. know, for this now. And I think we have a bunch of willing people yes. who, yeah. are, who, are, who, who will say, no matter the task, I'm ready to carry my beam. Yes. And that's not always yes. the case, I love that. you know, where people yes. are afraid to carry the weight of an assignment. And it yes. comes with a weight. Yes. I, I, yeah. I can add to that. I think we're all ready individually, even in our own actual lives. I think yeah. one thing that gets in the way of women doing what they do is motherhood, mm -hmm. wifehood, and all of the things, things that come yeah. and the responsibilities. But I do think that because of the way that the world has shifted and moved yeah. yes. um, and even like gender norms and stuff, mm -hmm. things are different a little, mm -hmm. you know, now yeah. we have a little bit more freedom and holy ghost, we got more help. You know that, yeah. that promise 31 woman Come had, on. she had uh, people helping her. She had no. assistance. She had a village. Okay. 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 And I think we're, we've gotten back to getting yeah. to a place where you have a village and you have people mm -hmm. that are, that are helping. Yeah. Um, your life is sustained. You can bring your kids on the yeah. road and yeah. things are just, yes. um, I think we're in a different Shifting. space. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that we oh, were generals. Yeah. 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 It's what came to my mind when I thought different. about yeah. each of us in our own spheres mm -hmm. and the way yeah. the call of God on our life. Yes. But also the moment that we are in in culture, we need people who know a general is not busy yelling and screaming orders. Mm -hmm. A general understands their authority. 
And, mm -hmm. that, and I think that when I think about us, each one of you, you don't just understand that, oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, you understand your authority that you have. Mm -hmm. You don't have to scream and yell and fight. You actually come from a place of authority. And I believe that that is gonna come through in everything and how we lead and how we sing and how mm -hmm. we carry ourselves and how we champion one another. Yeah. And I think also, you know, when you think about being on a battlefield, which yes, we do fight from a place of victory, but we are in a war that mm -hmm. we cannot see, but it is a war. Yeah. Um, and I think that understanding that this right here, we are a company of soldiers, of generals, and, and that company, you, you not only fight on the battlefield together, but you break bread with one another, you mm -hmm. commune with one another. That's the family of God, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I think that's what I was, I, I, it sounded good, but I don't know that I thought it all the way through, other than when I think of y'all, I think you understand your, Tasha, you understand your authority. Hello. You understand your authority. It's not just, uh, I've got this voice, and people like mm -hmm. to talk about the anointing mm -hmm. all the time. The anointing is something that God gives. Authority is something we understand, mm -hmm. we step mm -hmm. into when we receive the anointing that God gives, but then we understand through word, through worship, through yeah. prayer, through yeah. fact. We all start to begin to understand, oh, wait a second. Anointing he gives, authority I step into. Mm -hmm. And you, you carry an authority almost like, unlike anybody I've ever seen. Yeah. If yeah. we were all generals, right? Yeah. That means we're maybe coming from different uh, mm -hmm. squads, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And Love those that. squads come together Love and say, that. "Okay, we have we, you know, every squad yeah. has their strength." It's the yeah. true definition of confederate. Yes. Like, hello. I mean, it's a confederacy where you bring all that you have. That's good. So, like, come each on. of us have different followers. Yep. We're bringing them all together yes. in a room. Yeah. Come on. For one purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Do Sorry, you I broke in. No, no, you <laughs> should. I'm ready. We're ready to go. Come but on. I love it. And then I can't help. Okay, I'm like this. I can't help but notice we each have on these colors. And I'm like, if we were in oh like gosh. camo, like we each have a oh, color girl. from. Come on. So like if you put, put this together and it's like these, we're each a part of yes. what God wants to do in terms of right now. And yeah. you know what? Yep. Maybe in five years or 10 years, he'll be doing something different. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it won't be what he's doing with us now. But yeah. I really believe that this yes. is something that God is doing. He's saying, no, there's a place that I want my, my yes. daughters, my generals to yes. fight, to mm -hmm. push back the darkness mm -hmm. um, so that the church can, can continue to be who she's called to be, yeah. yes. you know? And I really believe this is going to be an opportunity for us to, you know, God, uh, he says, clean your clothes clothes get ready for me because I'm coming yes. back really believe that we're gonna like oh shake come up on. the body and let's go and fight yeah. the devil yes yeah. I think there are two things that come to mind I think one of the major ones is time with my children and because I'm very worker B and very yeah. um focused and yeah. I can be very diligent and kind of you know put the blinders on and keep going I think I try to avoid how much it costs, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I don't look at the receipts, yeah. you know, I don't want to see how much I've really paid and um, my hope and prayer. And I, I mean, I'm very vocal about this with my children. I, I, they know what's going on. They know why mm -hmm. it's going on mm -hmm. and they are grateful. Um, yeah. But it's still a toll. It yes. still takes a toll. And you pray every night that they're OK and that yeah. in the years to come that they will understand. But I think also trying to delicately tiptoe around maybe some fragile male egos yeah. and <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and being creating strategic partnerships with other women yeah. and men who yeah. are pushing us forward, um, even with some that don't want us to do this, you know, and I've, yeah. and I've heard things. I've heard people say, how are y'all gonna do that? Y'all are all women at Caddy and y'all gonna be fighting. And I've heard stuff like that. And to me, I'm like, why would you even say that? Because that's, that hasn't even been the vibe at all. You know, like we actually do know how to play nicely and fair. And so yes. it's like, well, when do you fight? When do you not say something? It's about ignoring um, comments that might be inappropriate about how you're dressed or, um, what, how you showed up, how you want, and I've, I've seen it happen over and over again. And this, this is why you need to look like that. Or not, you know, it's those yeah. types of things where you go, okay, this is the price I'm paying today. I'm going to be quiet. 
Yes. Ooh, that's and hard. we'll move on. Mm-hmm. Because so I know hard. it's not just about me. I'm I'm yes. pioneering something mm-hmm. for others yes. Yes. as well. Just kind of piggybacking off of what you said. I, I was so, especially when I was younger mm-hmm. in, in the industry, just so driven mm-hmm. that I had, you mentioned blinders. I literally had blinders mm-hmm. to the fact that there were egos, male mm-hmm. egos who didn't want it to happen. Mm-hmm. I think now walking in another space of maturity or, or um, more settled, I can see it now. Mm-hmm. It's a, you know, it's like, oh, mm-hmm. you okay? <laughs> you know, like, yes. we gonna be good. Um, so I, I think that's that's something that maybe it was it was God's design for it to be mm-hmm. for me to be blinded to it because yeah. I don't know that being younger I would have handled it with wisdom, yeah. you know, the way that I can now. So I think that could be a sacrifice that a lot of female. Um, ministers or whatever mm-hmm. you, you're called to do. It's, it's in every industry, mm-hmm. you know, where you have to just kind of be very wise about how you handle it. And I pray that even with this tour, that some eyes are open, that maybe I have been a little pushed by my ego when it comes to mm-hmm. us celebrating the female success. Yeah. You know, I pray mm-hmm. that, that this shows yes. them, you know, they can do some things. Yes. They are strong. Yes. They have brains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yes. but um, still carry the bags. Okay. Sorry. You can come yeah. 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 Carry still still yeah. my bags. <laughs> yeah, and I just I would have to say this too that there are some men who do support it. Mm-hmm. Like yes. I, I am honored and privileged, and I see this more now the older that I am, yeah. um, to be married to a man who it takes more strength to have yes. a wife that's yes. in the spotlight. Yes. So every day that I see yes. it. I love him more and appreciate yes, him more same. for being that. able to stand on the yes. sideline or in the background yes. and, and push us forward. Yes. To lead from the back. And, not, and yes. not just, you're right, and not just stand, but champion. Yes. yes. Champion. Yeah. And still lead. Like, yes. I would not be yeah. able to yes. do this nope. on nope. this level and where I am without him. Yes. Without yes. his wisdom and his grace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His you know, yeah, yeah, his prayers. So yes. I, I think there are men that we should yeah. champion too. Yeah. Yes. Who say you know to for me to fall back is me operating with more strength yes. Yes. than it takes for yeah. some who are yeah. so yeah. driven by their ego. So mm-hmm. and I'll say like I have, thank goodness, thank you, Jesus, have been championed by like a whole bunch of my brothers in the mm-hmm. United. And I wasn't yeah. pushing myself forward. I wasn't saying let me take this. Like they're like no no no, no. this is the call of God. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Which I know that's not normal. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And hopefully, that's great. hopefully it becomes the norm yeah. right. because. It's men and women together. Well, yeah. that is funny, but you keep saying too well. that, like, you know, girl, you, this is never going to work because girls are catty. And you hear that all the time, but when I stop to think about it, I'm like, who are the ones saying that? Men. <laughs> men are the ones saying, yeah. well, the girls are going to be blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, there's none of that. Zero of that. We Zero. haven't experienced we're any fine. of that. No, we're also, good. also, because you would hope that there would be also with learning how to carry what God's yes. given us yeah. there'll be a spirit of humility because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like as soon as we start getting on the pedestal like God's gonna psh- we we love the men we're not this is not a man bashing right. situation <laughs> it actually it's not I actually think one of the things that this is also going to show not just women but men yeah. this tour is for men to come yes, to as come well yes. and when we talk about how our husbands are not intimidated mm-hmm. by what we mm-hmm. do they're not scared of it they don't feel like they have to compete with it but instead they're yes. championing yeah, and lifting yeah. us up yeah. that's not just a testimony for women that's a mm-hmm. testimony for yeah. men yeah. to yeah. see that as well and mm-hmm. I think that's going to be another beautiful thing you know that it's actually a reflection of heaven mm-hmm. the sound yeah. of heaven mm-hmm. the sound of heaven I'm secretly praying that we could hear angels as well in the room because yes. I'm happy yeah. God not want to yes dwell you know he dwells in the praises of his people but then also like when mm-hmm. we connect into the eternal song yeah. I'm seriously praying for yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> the crazy yes. seven octaves high harmonies like yes. Yes. <laughs> so. It's the secret prayers for me yeah. because those are the ones that get through. So I think just the empowering of the presence of God. And I think so many people that come 
are, mm -hmm. right now people are riddled with anxiety, they're mm -hmm. riddled with fear. Yeah. I just saw this study that said that parents who had kids between the ages of 11 and 18, it was like 85% of those parents that were um, talked to said their kids were in severe depression. I was like, 85%, oh, yeah. you know? Wow. The presence of God is the antidote to fear. Mm -hmm. It's the antidote to anxiety. And I, we are carriers of the presence yeah. of God. And what I believe on this tour is that it will be presence. Our church says presence over presentation. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, I, and I know that that is what it will be and people will have an encounter with the presence of God. Are they gonna love it and have fun and mm -hmm. sing along? But they're gonna have an encounter with the presence of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that presence of God is gonna set them free, you know? Yeah. I think what this tour represents is that anything is possible. Mm -hmm. So I'm praying that um, belief and faith Come on. Um, fills the room. I'm praying that when people hear, I want like little girls to come and see something mm -hmm. that maybe, well, they've never seen it before because mm -hmm. it hasn't right. been done. Yeah. And I want them to be strengthened and not just to go out and sing and do music, but to be that doctor, to be mm -hmm. a pilot, yeah. to, you know, yeah. like just do the thing that God has, has called you to do. I'm praying that yeah. people get so missional, that people want to go on. after souls, that they Come go, on. hey, how can my life be more fruitful? Yeah. You know, yeah. like, Lord, whatever you want. I just I just want to hear that, like, abandon, that surrender. Yeah. God, yeah. whatever you want, I want to do. Because my yeah. life was changed in a room like the rooms that we're about to yes. be in. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember going, God, whatever you want to do with me, do it. Yeah. And, yeah. you know. Yeah. And look what he's done. Do you know what else I think, yeah. too, is um, exciting to me is that um, I'm, I'm really praying intentionally that God will bring people in that maybe this look, Mm -hmm. of black and white mm -hmm. is going to look different for them. And they're not going to have seen it modeled very often, yeah. which how tragic is that? Yeah. That we yeah. say that actually in the church, it's just not modeled very yeah. often. It's the, Everyone's looking to government to model that. It's the church that yes. should be modeling yeah. what kingdom looks like. Wow. Um, and I do think that that part of somebody looking and saying, oh wait, we, we can say all of these things, but then if you look at your circle, and you realize, well, why does my circle just look so much like me? Yeah. Or, you know, I think this is a beautiful picture mm -hmm. of kingdom. This is family. This is the family of God. Yeah. We all come from different places. We have different experiences, yeah. different cultures that make us up and make us who we are. Mm -hmm. I have so much to learn from you. I have so much to learn from you. I have so much to learn from yeah. you because you're, you're from a different done. place than I'm from. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's so much... And right now we're in a moment in our culture where nobody wants to listen mm. to somebody else's experience. Wow. They're just too busy talking about how they think they know. Yeah. But how could I possibly know yeah. your experience? Yeah. So I think the beauty of just this being modeled of, of that, that opportunity to learn from one another and to represent that is going to be a beautiful thing for an audience without having to talk about it, we're showing it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really, really, really powerful.